So welcome to Lifehack Reviews, I'm James Anthony and today I'm going to be reviewing Chamonix, yeah, Chamonix in the skiing season. So here I am just waiting for my flight uh, from Manchester to Geneva. I am just sitting out looking at aeroplanes, relaxing here in the beautiful little lounge. And uh, I think it's time, I couldn't quite bring myself to have a beer at this time in the morning. I know I'm English, but I just couldn't do it. I don't know what that has to do with this. <laughs> but An absolute gorgeous day, just arrived. Seven degrees, and you can see the snow on the mountains. Okay, we've arrived here at Les Arolles in France, Chamonix, uh, Chamonix South actually. And uh, this place is a little bit of a hidden gem. It's a place that I've been coming back to for nearly 10 years. And um, I think it's got camping as well over there. I've never actually seen the camping fields, but the actual apartment itself is really cool and uh, really clean and reasonably priced. So uh, yeah, just gonna wander down into Chamonix, have a very relaxed day, get some sunglasses because I have left man at home and just relax, but look at that view. That's what it's all about. So essentially five minute walk, maybe even less just down here. And that brings me into Chamonix South, which is one of my favorite areas of Chamonix really, because everything's going on there. It's got supermarkets. It's uh, great for the bus, for the ski, not quite as busy as the city center or the, the main, main center, should I say. Um, so very accessible. It's got nice places to eat and you can get to the center in two seconds. So, well, 10 minutes walk to the other side. But um, yeah, just look at that view. If we go up here like that and then go in again, look at that. So it goes up here like that. And another one goes across like that. <laughs> All the way to the top there. Now we'll just cross the river and head on into the village. Look at the view. So this is the start of the street, the main street through Chamonix. With lots of beautiful shops, things to see and restaurants to eat at. As you can see, it's a great place. We're just out having coffee and cake. Uh, lots of coffee and cake and lots of lunch and lots of beers. Lots of new shops opened up and um, uh, lots of yeah craft ale places so but certainly nice restaurants you've got japanese restaurants you've got Span spanish you've got italian you've got of course french and uh, you've got everything you could possibly need from this little place lots of high-end um, shops as well where you will spend a million pounds on a jacket but you know luxury furniture here like this and uh, lots of puppy toys, which are always very cute. But apart from that, uh, I'm going to go for some lunch. I'm starving. And uh, but certainly shopping. If you like shopping, this is the place for you. Chamonix is a shopping central. Look at that. that. First stop is this cool little place called Poco Loco. It's been here for years and it's great burgers. And I'll show you a picture of the burger before I start. Cool little place though. So. Mm. Right, got my bag, got my water, got my sandwich. And of course, the day wouldn't be complete without two of these bad boys. Let's go skiing. My helmet, of course. Good morning, everybody. We're, it's a bit shaky, isn't it? 
I have to go slower with my hands. Good morning, I've got my ski gear or snowboard gear ready. And today we're gonna to go to Argentier, which is just over that ridge, just over there. It's gonna be fun. I've heard the snow is gonna be better on that side. So uh, let's go. This is what the weather is like today. So I'll show you around on my short, like I say, three minute walk from my hotel. In fact, you can see it just from there. Uh, so we're gonna go up, yeah, this side of the mountain, just here. Okay guys, this is the Chamonix South bus station. So uh, plenty of places to get your ski rental and everything else. But uh, here on this side, we're gonna go to the tour. Uh, and from here and the other side. And then also the great part is just there is where you can get a blah blah car. A blah blah car is a great way, oh, a big bus that takes you from the airport, a lot cheaper than using a private transfer that costs me nearly 50 pounds each way. So the bus is like 20 euros, far, far cheaper. Oh, $29 return, I think. Uh, but either way, I'm waiting for the bus now. We've got a new system here that tells us when the buses are, which is great. We've never used to have that. So all in all, it's, uh, it's easier than it ever has been. Now, the only difference between this and maybe other uh, snowboard places uh, is that you have to get multiple buses to get to different locations. The tour can take about 30 minutes to get to, for instance, in Grand Monte about uh, 30, 35. However, uh, as in Jair, where I'm going today, it's about 20 minutes. Then you've got Provence over there, which is 10 minutes away, or less. It's literally in the center. You can almost walk it and various others as well. So there we go. Chamonix South is the place to be. Grab onto the bus, get here at busy steep times. And later on in the day, at 4 o'clock, even worse, it can be absolutely crazy. So, I recommend hiring a car. It's the cheapest way to hire a car. Or, should I say, I just don't want to hire a car. I don't have a very good car to get. Uh, I like the buses. However, you don't know when to get on You're a nerdy advisor. Uh, and once you're the last person there, then I would probably say, uh, I'm going to get a car. If you can manage to leave half an hour earlier than busy time, then you get on no problem at all. Sometimes you have to do a little bit of pushing to say that. Uh, so, actually, that part is possible. And uh, if you're lucky, like a roulette, and you get to raise the door, if it stops where the door is, you can get a seat. Thank you. Let's go. Regular, I mean, basically, no chance. So, we're better off getting the big good chummy stuff. This is where we are today, and we're done with the chaos in the chair. That's good food, got my ticket. Let's see the prices later. Okay. And uh, the main lift is closed. That's great. <laughs> Come on. Right, correct. Can't go through that one. Go this one. Way up. Always a problem. Ah, that's done. We're here. So this is what we're going to get into. These cool things right here. Uh, let's get going. Okay, here we are at the very top of uh, Grand Monte. Well, fairly high up, should I say. Almost above the clouds. And uh, we'll just come up that beautiful lift just there. So essentially, this is it. I'll show you a piece map after this uh, so you can get to just with this area. But uh, conditions today are fabulous. And a uh, little bit of rocks around, but the snow seems to be melted a little bit with the sun and there's plenty of shady parts as well so overall good conditions so here we've got some extremely nice red runs enjoyable not too difficult not too difficult very enjoyable let's go this way In fact, I'll take you down this run. 
Fucked him with four. <laughs> enjoyed that so I'm gonna do it again Okay, so I've decided uh, on my first day not to get the last bus home with millions of people. So I have got the bus slightly early, just had um, my sandwich on the top. And now I am in a place, well, I got on the bus and got off in Flagère. So rather than going straight home to Chamonix South, um, I am now in front of the board. And this board kind of says everything about Chamonix. So notice, this is your map here. Now this is where I've just got off. Now I was on this side down here uh, before. So that was where um, Mont Blanc was, uh, sorry, Grand Monte and Argentière. So I was further up the valley this way. So I came down and stopped here because I know I can go up to Flagère. I can ski a bit here if I wish. And then I can go across here. Amazing, this is a beautiful, I'm not sure no, you can't see it up there. But it goes across and takes me onto here where I can now come down into Chamonix. So uh, from now on, I'm actually gonna do almost every trip I go on, I'm gonna stop here at La Flagère and end my day by coming down directly, which means I should miss out on buses. So it's a great way to do things. Um, of course, if you wanna stay in one spot till the end of the day, it's impossible, but there's lots of nice runs here. Uh, different side, opposite side of the mountain, so the sun won't be the same. Let's have a look. I love how my voice sounds echoing here without a sound processor. This is so true. I love Chamonix. I I'm traveling to Chamonix. This is place I love to be. I do love oh Chamonix, I do. Oh, I gotta say, oh Chamonix, my baby. I highly recommend you visit me. Yeah, 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 yeah Chamonix. Now in Chamonix you always get some crazy people and these are the crazy people. Literally, you can't see where you're going into, you're just gonna go into mist. <sighs> now I've got that off my chest. Um I just wanted to say, if you're enjoying this little trip of Chamonix, this sort of, not review as such, but uh, insight into Chamonix, and a very small insight that is, please do click the like, click the subscribe button. It's what keeps this channel going. It's brand new, I need more subscribers. Um, but I see many more trips reviewed 
in the coming years. So if you enjoyed this, do click like, do click subscribe and the alert button. And um, if there's anything you'd like to see on this channel in the future, let me know. We're halfway through the Chamonix holiday right now. And um, I must say I'm having a great time. Uh, had to come alone in the end uh, because it, it was holidays and last minute there was no room for my friend who wanted to come. So yes, I kind of have booked a little bit too long here, nine days. I uh, should have maybe only stayed five or six, but there's plenty to do in that time. Uh, it's a wonderful place to be, and it's the one place I feel comfortable coming on my own. Now look, that's I have actually been down that, so that is a, normally a slope that you can um, come down. But unfortunately, it is closed uh, because there's no snow. You could try coming down. So a big lack of snow here, definitely. I'm guessing they might have to use some artificial snow to get us to the next lift that takes us back to to Brabant and Chamonix Central. Oh, there's a tiny bit down there, just a tiny bit of snow. Um, so yeah, this is the left side. This is the main Chamonix side. And uh, as I said before, on the other side over there, the other side of the valley, that was where Mont Blanc was further up. So the Grand Monte, I mean, Grand Mont Blanc is there, I think, that way. So yeah. If you've got any plans to visit Chamonix, uh, Mont Blanc or this area, please do post your photos, uh, video responses, whatever it may be, um, makes it all interesting. And here they are. Okay, just outside my locker area, which we have here, with heating, washing and everything, which is fantastic. Uh, all the tools you could ever need for keeping things going. And now it started to snow, which was not predicted. So this is great. This means it could be really good. A little bit of fresh powder on the mountain. So I'm gonna go back and do the same again today, just because I've heard that up at uh, the Brabant area, it's full of cloud. So, on the side of the house, we can kind of see where we're going to be going. Instead of going that side again, I'm going to go back to where I went yesterday, just because I know it's going to be nice skiing for the day. So, uh, yeah, that's a good thing about staying somewhere where there's a mountain guide or people who know what they're doing, been here their whole lives. Uh, they can read the weather very well as well and advise where to go. So, let's get going. Okay, just, you know, I'm myself right now. The wind. Swinging left and right, like crazy. I'm back home now to the front. Chairlift is coming. Chairlift? No, the uh, gondola is coming. Is it a gondola? Whatever it's called. Here it is. Okay, we've finished another day of skiing now. Um, not the best conditions today, but I'm in a different part of Chamonix, in the Chamonix centre right now. Uh, just look at some of these beautiful chocolates and cakes, absolutely gorgeous. But, I just want to show you the difference. Um, I'm going to go through some of the places in this area of the village. So, if we go down here, that's your main area, uh, which then leads on to the area that you saw in the video last. I want to take you down by the canal. Or canal by the river, should I say? Canal, what am I on about? Uh, so I'll take you down by the river, uh, which is just along here. And it's a beautiful area, it's got some lovely bars, and also, uh, if you're into your upper piste, then all of the 
uh, deals, you know, all of the uh, happy hours, which aren't as many as they used to be, are available between usually 4 and 6 p.m. So we're going to go down this area here. We can actually go over there, that's the ice rink over there. But uh, we're going to walk towards the river. So here we go. These are where lots of nightclubs and night bars, should I say, are very good for the evenings. Um, this whole street is like a cool street, should I say. So that bar is really cool. The bar up, barred up, party and bunch. Um, this cool place here. There's lots of little places to sit out and be freezing. And then I'm going to show you in the back streets here. Before we go back. through all the way down to where we are staying Chapelle South at the other end and I actually witnessed many years ago that bar the Capel burned down over 10 years ago uh, it used to be a cool place with uh, comedy and everything now we're back onto the cool street again here and this definitely has all the plus bars uh, uh, this one here I'm not sure what that is but it's not a bar the Capon restaurant and then this is a cool little nightclub bar and then the caves now this place is really famous the caves have uh, well literally that's what they are amazing caves hidden underneath and a uh, beautiful bar setting and it's just absolutely awesome great nightlife as well finally we have one more area so this is again the center and just off the main street that's over there Right here. And if we go this way, the casino and uh, a lovely outdoor bar with a balcony. And here we go again, it goes down. Very beautiful casinos up there. And the most beautiful, beautiful bar with a balcony that people sit out on when it's sun shining on two sides and just absolutely beautiful location. Hope you appreciate. I'm not using a gimbal. I'm just using my hand, and my hand right now is freezing off, might I say? There we go. That's the monument. And now we're going to go down to where they have live music. There's not many places with live music, but I found one. Uh, it's the most popular place called Chambre Neuf uh, for après ski. And I don't know which other places do après ski, but uh, I know this one does it. The, in the past, it's done it the best. We have fresh fish here. Of course, no place would be any place without a McDonald's. Just there. This place here is called Chambre Neuf. It's right next to the main station in Chamonix. And uh, this is where I would highly recommend you come for uh, party life. As you can see, there's a band in there, a drum kit, and um, between four and six, actually at 1700 free ski. So at 1700 hours, it starts here. Make sure you check it out. It is a really cool place, uh, if not chaotic. So on my walk back home, I just wanted to show you this part here, is the Agol de Midi. This is the main cable car that goes up and I think you can get to the glacier from it, but mainly you don't ski up there, it's for the views. Uh, it goes up to 3,842 meters high and it's pretty crazy. The most amazing views you'll ever get and over there also is the um, ski jumping. So it's not running at the moment mainly because the weather over there, no point going up whatsoever. But uh, yeah, you've got to do the Agol de Midi if you visit Chamonix, 100%. Okay, yep, I have a bathroom light on here, but I will say when the sun is shining and you're skiing, make sure you wear suntan lotion. So just from the first day, because today was cloudy, uh, this is what I have, I'm not sure. Okay, yeah, you can see, I'm pretty burned. 
Um, and that is just after one day of skiing with a bit of sun and no suntan lotion. And I had my jacket on and my goggles on. Oh no, no, no actually I skied with my goggles off, didn't I? And that's why I now have a red face. So um, just from one short day skiing, I'm burned. So take care when you're out there, put on your suntan lotion um, and don't be like me, like a lobster. <laughs> This is the place for après ski here and it's fucking crazy. So, we're going to go inside and check it out. As you can see, the party scene in the Chamonix is epic. I mean, Chamonix is incredible and all the places around it, uh, but Chamonix definitely excels. It is a crazy party central. It's in pounds mode. <laughs> Well, hello again, day three, and today the weather's looking much better. Just look at the beautiful skies, look at the mountains. I'm going to go up Brevant today. It's just nice and easy to do, but just, I mean, look at it, it's gorgeous. And look at the mountains at the back. So here we go to Brevant, let's go. Okay, so today, going up Brevant, I've uh, got the map over there. It's the same map I showed you the other day when I came home from um, Grand Monte, and I came through Flagere to Brevant. So that's the map that we're going to be going up. There. And now we're going to go up to this cable car right here. So this is the closest uh, one to the very centre. So if you want to go skiing straight away, you live in the centre of Chamonix, then this is the best place to start. It's great for beginners, massive open uh, spaces. And uh, although the, <laughs> the snow conditions aren't the best today, um, hopefully the sun will be melting a little bit, which means it will be a little bit uh, softer and easier to snowboard than yesterday, which was terrible. People falling everywhere. So I'm going to get my ticket, just a four hour ticket for today because my limbs are aching a little bit and uh, get straight up. And the good part about Provence as well, you can easily come down for lunch. You can come down, go to the village for lunch, come back up again for the afternoon. Uh, it's just a, a really handy place to go. So there we go. Okay, so I literally just cut off uh, me listening to ABBA 
um, <laughs> going up, I shouldn't admit that, going up the, um, the gondola to the very top. So uh, here we are, we're going up this one right here. Of course, no snow around, but uh, beautiful, beautiful views of the town down below. Let me just look at that as well up there. Oof. So there we go. Uh, so I will show you Provence and a couple of the runs at the top, but uh, hope you're still enjoying this Chamonix review. Don't forget to click the subscribe and alert button. It's gonna help this one grow, but hey, there's some people here. I wonder how they got there. Let's have a little look. Let's be nosy. So what are they doing? Oh, they're up on a little walk with a little doggy. Hey guys. So uh, summer walks, this must be a great place for summer, which we're coming back to shortly as well in May. Okay, what a massive difference a day can make. Um, I can feel already the snow is is much softer, um, which means it's going to be hopefully nice for the board. Uh, but I just have to show you these views. Here we go. Germany. Still quite busy because it's the kids' holiday. Uh, there's plenty of paragliders out here as well today. Maybe we've got to look at that. Yeah, this particular program you can see over there. You imagine feeling. I have to try paragliding. Uh, one of my top things on my list. So, uh, yeah, I've got these lovely things because I forgot my main prescription sunglasses, so I look really cool today. Uh, so, this is the start of the run. This is what it looks like. So this is the big open area, great for beginners, great for all sorts of people who want to get into sno uh, snowboarding or skiing, and it's just really, really open up. Oh wow, so much better than yesterday, I can feel it, so much softer. Look at the big open spaces. I just skiing on the floor today, <laughs> shouldn't laugh. So this is just a really nice big open piece. There we go. Getting better. Oh look at them two paragliders. Let me show you. Two paragliders. One there. One there. Oh another one over there. Three. I'm sure we'll be taking off in a moment. As I mentioned, the perfect place for beginners. And Just stop for a quick rest here. Look at that view. This is again part of the vault. So, so cool. And Grand Monte as well. All these little areas, you literally go all at the side, and when you don't care about falling, they are the best conditions. Can I say we also have a train? Yeah, you can get on this thing. Be an adult or a kid. The train is great for everyone.
Okay, today we're up um, Grand Monte again. Uh, just doing a tiny bit of off pisting not much, because uh, it's still quite hard. However, found a little bit of soft snow here. So kind of gonna work our way along here in the Mountain, because there's no risk of avalanches. And uh, a few rocks over there. This is what it's all about. I'm not going to go that way because I think there's rocks on that side. So I'm going to go down here, which looks a bit dangerous, but not as bad as that way. <laughs> well, we're nearly at the end of the holiday now. Uh, I have two more days, but today I had a day off just because it was a little bit foggy and I thought uh, maybe I would take an advantage to let my legs recover and have two more big days on the piece. So um, I just want to show you as well, we also have a swimming pool. So there's a swimming pool just over here. And then there's an ice rink just here as well. I think with a bit of an outdoor ice rink area as well, but mainly an indoor ice rink. They have an amazing hockey team and they have regular matches taking place. So uh, if you ever want to do something one day uh, and it's terrible weather or whatever it may be, uh, go and see the ice hockey, the pioneers, I think they're called really really good or go there for a disco skate or skate uh, in one of their public sessions so thank you very much for watching this review if you have liked it please do click the subscribe and alert button okay final day now and it's beautiful weather and i did neglect to say just one thing and that was, of course, if you're a proficient skier, you've got to go and see the Meadowglass, the glacier. You can ski, uh, you know, above it, around it kind of thing. And it uh, drops you down finally at the very bottom where you've got the caves, the ice caves, which are phenomenal. So um, you can actually go inside the caves, walk around. They've got ice chairs and all sorts, and it's really worth checking out that experience. You can also get up to that via the train. So you can go from the train rather than having to ski down and uh, the train takes you from the main train station right to the, the main entrance of those. You have to climb quite a bit as well, but um, there we go. I just thought I'd mention that because I've not mentioned it. And uh, the Meadowglass is one of the most amazing phenomenons here. So it's well worth checking it out. I'm out of breath. I've just started. I've been doing nine days of skiing now and I'm shattered. Tip before we go, make sure you check out when the market is taking place in the main area uh, near the sports ground because it's phenomenal. Uh, food the choices that you have uh, is incredible. The cheeses are amazing to die for. And it's got everything you could possibly imagine. There's a hundred cheese shops just like this one behind me. Uh, Gastronomica, there's everything here. So make sure you check it out. There's clothes, there's food, there's jams, there's everything. Oh, fresh fish as well. Uh, everything you need to cook in your apartment, should you be. So thanks again for watching this review of Chamonix. If you liked it, make sure you do click the like and subscribe button. But the most important part is uh, leave a comment and share this wonderful video of Chamonix with your friends. And if you're ever coming, I hope I've just been a little bit useful for you guys. Have a fantastic week. See you soon.